Hello guys, in this video we'll be exploring the autosomal DNA results, predicted phenotype traits and GED match results of a macaque. Macaque were basically a monkey, right? Usually on this channel you see humans, but this time you're gonna see a monkey. And um, this is what she's predicted to look like. With Maina Shakoto, she's predicted to have dark brown eyes, snub-shaped nose and black hair. Uh, YSEC is just stupid, you can kind of ignore it. Uh, if the sample isn't genotyped for the BH2 mutation, it always makes it blonde and blue-eyed and it makes it have very light skin. YSEC is just really... Um, it's it's not good, okay? With Slipper Free, she's predicted to have brown eyes, black hair, and black skin. Uh, and what's interesting is she lacks the um, light color variant in Tirp 1 that gorillas and chimps have. And ironically, gorillas and chimps are actually lighter than various. By the way, orangutan and uh, baboon also don't have this light variant, which is ironic because these um, these monkeys are lighter than gorillas and chimps. She is homozygous for the ape. PO epsilon 4 mutation, which is, you know, basically a mutation that correlates to increased risk of Alzheimer's in humans, but she's a monkey, um, and she's got this mutation that correlates to increased risk of familiar Mediterranean fever in humans, but she's a monkey, probably does not have these diseases. Uh, in fact, this is probably a typical genotype for any other macaque, macaque, macaca, whatever. Uh, this is probably a typical genotype for monkey, because this is not the first time I'm seeing this. I'm also seeing warrior here. Also not the first time I'm seeing this because Baboon also was a warrior, also very stereotypically European genotype, I just have to make this remark here. And um, another stereotypically European genotype is the no-go learner mutation. Uh, it is thought, it, it is typically considered that the no-go learner mutation is like derived. If you do believe that humans evolved out of monkeys, if that's what you believe in, uh, then it would be very surprising to see a monkey with this genotype, basically. And um, there is, she's got greater odds of cannabis-induced psychosis, but nothing surprising here. And no East Asian EZAR, nothing surprising here. You would expect, if you do believe that humans evolved out of monkeys, you would expect, expect this monkey to score only the ancestral genotypes, right? You, you wouldn't expect it to score the no-go learn mutation. You wouldn't expect it to score warrior. And uh, you know what's interesting? If you look at these scientific phylogenetic trees where they analyze the relationship between humans, various monkeys, and, you know, apes, you will always see that humans are supposedly, none of this is proven, that's why I'm saying supposedly, closer to um, apes than we are to monkeys. Okay, so if we are supposedly closer to apes than we are with monkeys, how come I'm seeing more derived human variants? Um, by the way, you can count them even in this video, I'm, sh I'm sh going to show you. Uh, there's Al Alzheimer's, that's one. There's uh, Familiar Mediterranean Fever, that's two. There's Warrior, that's three. There's No Go Learner, that's four. I already, by looking at its genotype in um, code gen, I'm already counting four derived variants that are typical for humans, not even just humans, Europeans, typical for Europeans, typically European derived variants that you aren't going to see in any gorilla, you aren't going to see in a orangutan, you are not going to see in a chimp. And by the way, all these variants were also present in the baboon that I made a video on. So, if they are supposedly more distant to us, how come they're the ones who got these derived variants? And by the way, if this is just four. This is just four that I found not even looking for them. I was just looking at traits on code gen. Uh, if I was actually looking for, through the whole genome, counting up how many derived variants it's got, it would be more than four, guys. It would be much more than four. So, I'm not saying, I'm not saying what I did, did here completely disproves the phylogenetic trees that scientists have been building to determine the relationship between humans and other uh, and other other primates but it sort of does it sort of does disprove that moving on to polygenic traits uh, she's got a very low risk score for crohn's disease interesting she's got a, a low risk score for bipolar disorder also interesting uh, she's got a very low risk score for schizophrenia uh, she has got a very low risk score for type 2 diabetes, a very low risk score for type 1 diabetes, a very low risk score for coronary heart disease, uh, and a very high risk score for pancreatic carcinoma, as well as all the other cancers. I'm not going to include them in this video, but just know that she's got very high risk for various cancers. And in case you believe in evolution, just compare this result here with what Gorilla Chimp uh, was scoring what gorilla chimp orangutan were scoring and compare it also with what the baboon was scoring you will see that the baboon and the macaca have some 
um, have some affinities towards Europeans and East Asians, which is very peculiar. Why? Because Europeans and East Asians are the humans who got the most derived variants. If you count up, really, the Sub-Saharan African, if you got if you got less derived variants, you're going to score more Sub-Saharan African. If you got more ancestral variants, you're going to be scoring more Sub-Saharan African. If you got more derived variants, you're going to be scoring more European, more East Asian. So these uh, monkeys, who are supposedly more distant to us than these apes are, have got more derived human variants than the gorilla, the chimp, and the orangutan. This is what she's scoring with MZLP K23B. And here we see the same thing, which if you are uh, a firm believer in evolution, you cannot disprove this because why is she scoring less archaic human and more modern human components than the gorilla, the chimp, and the orangutan. The gorilla, chimp, orangutan, they score 99 to 100% archaic human with this calculator. Like, if you look at the circle for them, it's filled up with archaic human. That's the only thing they score. And with MZLPK16, she's actually scoring, besides the, ancest the ancestor component, she's actually scoring some Caucasian, Northeast European, Sub-Saharan. She's got some actual modern modern human admixture. I mean, at least that's what we get from uh, looking at her GED match results. So if you are like a firm believer in evolution, to explain this, you would have to come up with some really crazy mental gymnastics such as, yeah, okay, these monkeys had all these derived variants that make them closer to Europeans and East Asians and basically all the more progressive versions of humans today. But later, they lost all these derived variants and that's when they evolved into the ancestors between chimps and humans and then they, then they regained those variants again and that's how the chimps or the ancestor between chimp and human evolved into a human. That's what you have to... Uh, that's the mental gymnastics you have to really put yourself through to explain this as a, you know, I don't want to be too controversial here, but as an atheist, that's what you have to believe in. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for uh, watching my video. As you can probably tell, I had a lot of fun with this one. Um, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And you can also download the raw data file for this macaca from link, which is in the description. Goodbye.